Well, school's back in session, and that means young minds and bodies are coming together and experiencing exciting new things. Welcome to Man to Man. Sex Ed. Did you have sex ed classes? Uh, they called it hygiene. Hygiene? Yeah. That's an unromantic way to talk about it. Uh, well, it was it was taught in a very unromantic manner. Ooh, can you give us anything that you remember? Uh, chlamydia is not spelled with a K. That's... That's important to know, yeah. That is the first step to fighting chlamydia, is being able to look it up in the dictionary. Are you applying any of that sex ed knowledge? Every night. Good for you. We bet you still have a lot to learn about love. And that's why today we're meeting with pickup artist John Keegan, who's going to give us a master's class on the human heart. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, where are we going Oh, I know. We going to meet the pickup artist. Gonna meet a pickup artist. Going to meet the pickup artist. Do a hop and skin. Pickup artist. Going to meet the pickup artist. Where is the pickup artist? John? Hey. You're Luke? I'm Luke. Great to meet you. Where's your big fuzzy hat and guy liner and cool peacocking shirt. Yeah, yeah, you've been misguided. So we're gonna ha- would it be all right if you lost all this stuff? And I, I thought we were gonna nice. go say mean things to girls and then they'd love us. Yeah, so that, I mean, I don't think that's gonna be our best best way to do it. My right. stupid expensive hat. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go wash off my face. Yeah. And okay. then I'll meet you back you here in a couple minutes. Already. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. It's a fresh start. Okay. okay. Um, so explain to us, like, what exactly is a dating coach? What does a dating coach do? A, a dating coach is someone who helps people to basically communicate who they are to the opposite sex okay. and learn how to, you know, kind of have a, an interaction that's engaging and helping a person become like themselves in the face of the opposite sex. Let's say this is the movie Hitch. All right, and you're cool. Will Smith and I'm Kevin James. Okay. I've come to you for help. Yeah. What do you, what would you say to me first? I would ask you to believe a few things. Number one would be like that uh, what we're doing is good. Talking to women is good. It's not strange. It's not, you're not bothering them. And then if, if they are doing something that's not good, do you kind of break that down and be like, the talking to them is good, the immediately exposing yourself? Yeah, that's not a, so I much. I would say that's out or ne- immediately putting them down or things like that. Yeah. Like, hey, you're really cute for an ugly girl. <laughs> yeah. That kind of no, that, that yeah, that's not my deal at all, actually. Okay. Yeah, but um, I think that one of the most powerful things you can do is just go up and compliment someone, you know? If you're just out any town in America, where's a good place to go to meet girls? So this is important. So one thing is just to, you know, like not uh, sex things off in your mind like a lot of us do will say all right uh, during the week I'll watch all the attractive women that I saw or men pass me by and I won't say anything on Friday night at 8 o'clock I'll get smashed and go to a bar and start trying to uh-huh. meet people so that's uh, a, a common thinking that's not so good right uh-huh. not that you can't meet people in a bar it's, it seems like it would be harder when you're in a uh, you know like a pounding deep drum and bass evening to start a conversation. Yeah, yeah, so that would be a different kind of game, right? If you're, like, going into a pounding drum and bass place, I hope you like pounding drum and bass, number one, right? I can't get enough. Yeah, you can't. All right, so that's your deal. But in general, I would say, like, those everyday places in your town, like bookstores or even a supermarket, or Mm -hmm. I would take my laptop and I'd go to a coffee shop in my neighborhood and do my Facebooking there. Harder to masturbate in a coffee shop. Well, that's, not impossible. <laughs> not impossible. <laughs> well, you might not have to masturbate. That's the point. Right? You can leave Genius. that. Genius. <laughs> the idea of going out and hunting for the opposite sex is sort of uh, not really that effective. I'm going to go out looking for something, and then you have like this look on your face like you haven't eaten in six days, <laughs> and everybody reads it, and then you, even if you do meet someone and hook up with them, it's usually not someone you even like. It's like, I just got to eat, you know? So, I was under the impression <laughs> women loved desperation. Yeah. That was a quality that yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's, a lot of people think that, but uh, no. desperation is the world's worst clown. Okay. That smells like like <laughs> musk and yeah. wet dog. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So. Prostitutes like desperation. You know, they like, oh. that's the kind of women. Hello, <laughs> ladies. Uh, here we are. Yeah. Teach me. I'm ready to learn. Okay. What do I see? I'm what glad I see? you're ready to learn and you're open to this. Yeah. The first thing uh, we need to know is what are your goals? Yeah.